Hello guys, this is Aaron from the App2T team and today we're going to be covering four common mistakes developers have when integrating the App2T SDK. So hopefully this video can help you when submitting your games to App2T. Mistake number one. The incorrect SDK has been downloaded and used to perform the SDK integration. So when selecting your SDK on the App2T partner site, make sure to use our quick SDK selector to see which SDK is correct for your project. Mistake number two. Please ensure Super SDK resources are fully imported into your project. SDK features will not be able to execute correctly and it may result in the game crashing if the Super SDK resources do not get imported properly into your project. So for Unity, let's go through it together. Once you download our Unity Engine SDK, you will find four files, document, key store, reference, and SDK. You want to import the Unity package into your Unity project. If your Unity project already contains an Android manifest.xml file, you will need to combine both contents rather than replacing the existing one. Okay, now on to Android. So once you download the Android file, you'll find four folders, document, key store, reference, and SDK. Inside the SDK folder, look for the libs folder. And inside that, look for the super video java.jar and csj.aar file and paste both of these into the libs folder of your own Android project. And please create the libs folder in your project if you don't have an existing one. In the build gradle section of your Android project, add in these repository and dependency codes. And inside the res folder, copy all of the folders and paste it into the res folder of your Android project. If the names overlap, of any existing folders in your project, you need to combine both contents rather than replacing existing ones. Mistake number three. The Android manifest.xml is not configured properly as per instructed in the App2T technical guide. So for Unity, why don't we go ahead and help you guys out? You're gonna need to open up the XML file which can be found inside the Android folder and replace these sections with your package name. For this demonstration, I'll be using Go Go Football. For those using the Android SDK, let's help you out. So first, you'll need to open up the Android manifest.xml file where we'll edit and add in various codes to integrate the ads. First, in order to grant the necessary permissions, copy this series of codes and paste them into your own Android manifest file. Second, under the application section, add an Android code name equals com.app2t.add.addapplication. Third, add in another series of codes into XML file from CSJ start all the way to Mintegral end. Replace this with your package name if you're using Eclipse for development. Mistake number four. The rewards are not assigned to the players after the players have completed watching video ads. So for those using the Unity SDK, the video ads callback is triggered when the player has finished watching the video ad and the reward logic should be placed here. For those of you using our Android SDK, the video ads callback is a callback method for when the player has finished watching the video. The reward method needs to be placed here so that players will receive their reward after they have finished watching the video. Thank you all for watching this video. If you want to see more integration guides, we have a full series on 2T tutorials about the whole submission and registration process with App2T. 
If you want to see some more content from us, check out our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and we will see you guys in the next 2T tutorial.